Hey there, it's AgriSpray Drones. Let's take a look at the software on the operation screen on the EAVision J100. All right, so we've got our screen pulled up here. We have our drone's location. We have our location, actually location of the remote itself right now. And then we have our one field. Now, if we had multiple fields, they would all show up right here. We could just click on those. We'll click on the one we've got right now. And then from here, we have options. It tells us everything about this field first off. And then we can survey, meaning we can actually edit this field, click on a point, fine tune that point, move that point around. And then actually add new points with either the drone, hand draw them on the crosshair, uh, or add in uh, obstacles, no spray zones, all sorts of stuff right there. So we're going to go ahead and save this, save it, and then click on it again. We have more options here. We can actually merge it with another field, so the field next to it, you wanna merge those together. We can do that. We can hand draw actually a hand-drawn flight path in here. So we click new route, give the route a name, hit confirm, and then we can actually hand draw our own route that we want the drone to fly. And this isn't flying, you know, an autonomous back and forth AB. This is actually the route the drone will take. So if you got levees or if you've got a waterway you have to spray. This is a really, really good feature uh, on the J100. So we'll save that, and there it is. We just pull that up, and then we can operate on that. We'll X out of that, confirm, go back, go back to our plot. All right, and if you want to skip the hand draw and actually do a regular operation, you just hit save there, and then now we can uh, split the field, we can transfer the field, we can divide the field here in half, so if we have two drones operating, then we can just do this, hit done. And then we have actually created two separate fields. There we go. Two separate fields with our original one right there and our one on the south and our one on the north. So this is how you operate with multiple drones in one boundary. All right, there's our original field here. Um, and so from here, if we want to operate on this, we hit operate. And then now we have everything on our template side. We can actually hit create a new template or select an existing template. Or we can actually just change without a template our micron size, our volume, operation, height, speed, um, and then our entering and exit. And this is really cool too because you actually have four different parameters that you can set for entry and exit. We can enable to where it actually follows terrain, that's imitation, uh, or we can do fixed altitude. And if we do fixed altitude with obstacle avoidance off, we can crank our speed to or from the field all the way up to 45 feet per second. Turn those back on, and it takes you down to 32.8 feet per second. That's both on entry and exit. On our route side, again, we have our route spacing here. We can go up to 50 feet or down to three feet. We can set a start point. Right now it has a starting right there. If we hit start point, then we can click anywhere on the outside of the field and it will set our start point where we want to start. Click that off and then click priority planning and it will actually move your start point uh, to where it makes the most sense for the drone to operate. We have a safety point. So if we want the drone to fly to this point first and then to the start point, it will do that or we can cancel that and take that check mark off, and that'll just go straight from here to the start point. We can turn our spray off on the corners or off entirely. We can do a reference boundary on any one of these boundaries, and it will fly in reference to that boundary. We can do spraying on the boundary, just like that, or just spraying the boundary only, or just no boundary, just back and forth. We can shrink all borders up to 10 feet, and then additionally shrink another border in another 10 feet. Really useful for, um, for wind buffers. All right, and then if you wanna cut the route, we can do that too, which is like route segmentation. So if we hit new operation, then we go back into operate. Now we can actually cut this route where we're just doing half the field. It actually sets it by waypoint, essentially. So there you go. 
And if you just want to fly it and spray it, hit confirm. And actually we'll go back in, we'll turn our spray system back on. Hit confirm, hit take off. It will upload everything to the drone so it doesn't lose it. If it loses connection, slide the take off. Now after this starts flying, I'm gonna show you guys another really cool feature that J100 has. This is all autonomous flight. You can monitor the drone as it goes out to the field. You can set it to follow the drone. It actually locks onto the drone's position and keeps the drone in the center of the screen the entire time. Zoom in or zoom out. Or you can take that off and it gives you operator full control to manipulate the map however you want. It's going to paint the lines as it sprays. So there's no mistaking where it's been and where it hasn't been. It does drift turns, so it actually turns really quickly. Now when it gets to the middle here, I'm gonna go ahead and take over manually by flipping this switch right here. Flip that switch, now I've taken over manual control. All I had to do was flip that switch right there, and now I've got manual control. I can fly it wherever I wanna fly. Flip that switch back, and now I've got multiple points where I can send the drone back to start operating. I've got A, B, C, D, or resume point. So resume point is actually where I left from. If I fly the drone forward, I'm putting it back in manual mode, fly it forward, just a little bit, and then now flip back to autonomous mode. There you can see we've got a lot of options. If we wanna fly around a tree, uh, around a pole or whatever, uh, if we wanna skip an entire pass, we can do that by resuming at one of these options here. I hit point D, hit confirm. It's gonna to go to that point D, which is right there, and start spraying from that point, skipping everything on uh, on that flight path there. Put it back into autonomous mode, now I've, or manual mode, now I've got manual control. Back into uh, autonomous mode, and if I hit go home, it's gonna come home autonomously. Here it comes. And it's gonna follow the terrain, watch it jump up as it goes up and over that rope. Follow train and do obstacle avoidance on the way home. Gets home, it's gonna hover until you slide right to land it. It's gonna come down nice and softly. If you wanna take our manual control at any point in time, all you gotta do is flip this right switch and you've got manual control. Okay, so now you can see that the drone's gonna go back to this point there and continue spraying from that point. Now let's say that the wind changed directions and instead of flying north and south, we wanna fly east and west now. So if we go into operate while it's on the ground here, we can change any of these parameters here. So I can actually adjust our, our boundary size, our border size, I can cut the route, um, I can change my, my spray to where I can turn my sprayer off or just do spray on the corners and not spray on the corners. And a really cool feature here is if I go hit reference boundary, now we're referenced to this side right here and I can reference it to this north side and check that out. This is a really cool feature. It actually changes the flight path, but it doesn't overlap what you already sprayed. So everything here has already been sprayed and keep in mind this part right there, that's the part that we skipped. We don't want it to spray that part, we already skipped it. But everything else, it's going to spray right up to where we already have sprayed. So we send it back out there. It's gonna to go to this point and start spraying. If I hit confirm, hit takeoff, it re-uploads everything, swipe right, and we'll start spraying east and west now. This down here on the bottom of the screen, uh, next to your camera, that is your live terrain following and path planning. So it actually does your, it does LIDAR terrain following and path planning. It builds out 
that path for the drone to operate and it shows you that path right there. We have our radar right here showing us obstacles around us. We can click on our camera screen, our camera boots up, and then we've got access to our camera and our gimbal to point our gimbal up or down, just like that. Go back to our operation screen here, our map screen. And again, I take over manual control. Now I've got manual control. I can fly it wherever I want. I can land it right here manually. Switch it back to auto mode. That now becomes my home point where it landed whenever it, wherever it takes off from there. That's now my new home point, dynamically adjustable uh, home point. And now again, I can go back into operate. I can hit reference boundary and I can reference it to this boundary. And now check it out. It knows that it already sprayed this here and that there. So now the rest of the field, it can spray in this angle or that angle, or I can go back to my original angle and spray it north and south again. E-Vision thought of a lot of things in the software and that right there is probably my favorite feature, the changing your reference boundary feature. Okay, that was real quick uh, as far as uh, the operational uh, parameters and how to change all that on the EA Vision. We'll bring you guys more videos, let you know if you have any questions. Thanks, see ya.